वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर सी द डेल मदरबोर्ड वन थ्री टू सिक्स नाइन आई फन वन कामनली इट गिवस सेवन बीप इश्यूज मैक्सिम नंबर इट गिवस सेवन बीप इश्यूज ऑलमोस्ट सो दिस सीडर इंटेल मदर बोर्ड वाई इट विल गिव दट मच ऑफ इश्यूज इट्स वेरी डेलीकेटेड मदर बोर्ड सी यर वन ऑफ द ग्रुप मेंबर हैज पुट हिज डाउट सी in this particular motherboard he has 7 bip and one of other uh, our group member has given the solution somewhere here it will be the issues means some track may be the issue okay this uh, this one i already told you it's very delicate motherboard this processor section this processor section definitely somewhere track will be open or dry solder components you will get okay whatever it may be but basic things you have to understand why this 7 bip will happen 7 bip indicates it's a processor issue processor is not at on or it's on but it's not communicating with the ram properly it means it's not communicating with the ram properly or it's not completely working the frequency which required the processor is required that is missing it means you only know that what it could be main thing is communication between ram slot and this particular processor you have to keep it in your mind second thing is some signal missing because of missing signals also you will get this and one more major important thing is some pll voltages pll voltages means it's a 1.05 or 1 volts some volts the converted voltage will be missing let's have that schematic i will open the schematic here is the cedar this is the processor intel cpu broadwell ult 28 uma 15 watt this when group member put the question that time the amp rating will be only 200 something so it means it's not completely on see one general thing i'll tell you if processor in on position the required main main voltage or uh, main, main signals everything will be okay hmm? if the particular signal is not okay then only you will get this particular amp first thing is basic thing you will do the bias okay then also you will get the 7 wave then what are the steps you have to follow that we will discuss the processor as well ddr3 see what i told it's communication between ram and processor should be pakka okay here it's showing is a processor side ram section processor side ram section so what are those see here ddr3 l see one volts 1.5 s vcc st pull up is missing here pro chart thermal shutdown you will get it means it's completely it will be dead condition but not this condition the ddr3 l so here we need to check properly see what are the ddr3 l signals are coming here see only this part right smr com 0 12 what are those see those are pull down through pull down register it has connected to ground this register should be okay 100 121 200.2 to 110.2 100.2 the main signal the main signal sm underscore d ram rst ash it's a very very important signal from ram r from here that we will check okay so what will be the voltage sm d ram rst see here it has given sm d ram rst the same smd ram rst from year to year it has come what is the pull up pull up through 470 register 1.35 s3 s3 stage this particular ram voltage will generate so that will be pull up to this d ram rst ash see here one important point i will tell you so many technicians having confusion here it's uh, one side it's 1.35 they are getting but other side they are getting nothing it means zero volts they will get so in that case what they will do they directly remove this register and they it uh, they will make direct then also zero see one common point i'll tell you these are pull up registers okay one time you can replace the register and you can check 
other side it will be there or not because sometimes dry soldering also will be the reason but the thing is shorting the jumper i mean putting the jumper it's a really bad idea please don't do that one hmm? so the register is purposefully they will give because the pull up register required to give an command to cpu okay give a command to cpu that's the reason all pull up will work first you know the concept of pull up and pull down why these registers are required that is a major important point please don't do the jumper point okay generally you check 1.35 you are getting here and here there is no uh, i mean this particular voltage in that case this path internally having ground connection this sm drm rst from where it has come see from here it has come maybe because of this processor it's getting low right because of this processor internal function this particular voltage path will be low condition see one more basic thing i will tell you all processor will work through the logic gates and are not those things are will be there now that one through the transistor or through the logic circuits it will work internal mosfet if it is giving to ground then what the use of you are giving direct voltage to this right actually this is a command first you need to understand this is a command hmm? every command having some pull up or pull down resistors so here it's having pull up resistor but then also if you are getting zero then 100% internally it's making ground so that issue because of some other issue with the ram section or some required voltage this particular processor is not getting it's a pull up one command will come through this particular signal dram rst and it goes to where actually from processor to ram section it's going see page number 12 here it's a 12 mentioned it means it's going to ram slot 1.05s what is that vcc st should be there here this all are ram registers will work no those things here it has given 1.35 volts s3 this vdd q supply should be here okay here vcc core supply should be here see in the motherboard in circuits particular circuit coil section will generate the particular voltage outputs correct the processor what are the voltage it requires the particular voltage should reach here it's not only generate the particular circuit it should reach here it means some path will be there communication path will be there that path should be fulfill okay fulfill see here i already told you it's 1.35 s3 stage s3 why they given in s3 ram voltage will generate okay that's why it's it has uh, name as s3 here vcc core that should be there the coil voltage vcc core once it generates it gives the supply to processor somebody will think it's a coil is the final one no from the coil it has to reach to the processor that is the process actually see here it's showing it's a vcc core for example where it will go it's r702 where it is this is the processor see nearby the processor the all voltage will go okay now you confirm right so main thing what are the most important signal sm dram rst ash that should reach to the ram section that i will show you that uh, page number 12 it is a uh, one by one i'll come second one is 1.35 voltage that s3 voltage third one is 1.05 vcc st i think so vcc st that also should be there see here all signal should work svid alert clock and data clock and data should be active okay because it will directly goes to cpu ic the communication between the processor and cpu ic should be there then only the clock will generate or some particular signal will work properly see the svid alerts data clock we are enable this is processor generation voltage we are enable this goes to 
IO or PCH, whatever it may be, as per the schematic, we can check later. But main intention is we need to check why it has 7 beep. Because of this RAM voltage not there, then also 7 beep. It's generating in RAM section, but in this particular CPU, it's not there. VCC core 1.05S, VCC ST, VCC ST is very, very important voltage. See, 1.05V, S0. It's becoming VCC ST. VCC IOA out. See, through this pull up, I already explained you through this pull up, the voltage is going to this particular section. See, what is that? VCC IOA out. Here, the so CPU ground should be there. VSS sense. These are the ground sense. In between, the particular VSS sense will be there. The PLL voltage that I clearly told you, the PLL should be there. See, the same voltage, 1.05, it's very, very important voltage to uh, this particular processor because it's converting many places. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, many places it's converting through this coil. What are those coil? Let us check L1104 in board view. L1104. It's a graphics section, nearby graphics section. This part are there. So reference voltage should be there. We reference CA and DQ. I already explained in memory section. If you want, you can check my video. Huh? I clearly explained those things. As I told you, some signal, if if some signal missing, definitely your CPU won't turn on. It's a maybe due to clock or maybe DRAM RST. Those, these two are very, very important things. And also VCC ST. 1.05 volts, what are the conversions are there? Even one missing, there will be 7 beep. DDRPG control, DDRPG control, it's coming from page number 4. It's from processor only, just we saw it, this one. This DDR3 control voltage is going to the N channel MOSFET source. Hmm? And here, it's a gate. 1.35 S3 it's a gate voltage so once this voltage comes it will conduct source to drain will conduct then what voltage we will get see this is the pull up voltage 5 volts and it will come to here and here one more gate will enable this particular MOSFET what is this Q1202 this is Q1202 this is reverse side See guys, hmm? like this we need to check one by one. All three leg MOSFETs are very very important in this particular Cedar motherboard. It has more MOSFETs, N channel MOSFETs. If any one MOSFET is a problem then also you will get 7B or some tracks or some dry uh, soldering or main voltage the DRAM RST if you are unable to get definitely you will get 7 beep so here is the conclusion what are the voltage uh, main voltage for 7 beep it's 1.05 conversions PLL voltages second thing is DRAM RST VCC RST sorry VCC ST DRAM RST one PLL voltages track cut RAM voltage that's it only these I mean three leg MOSFETs those things we need to check thoroughly so then you can easily solve the issues so I am predicting will be around uh, 0.4 or 0.5 it's a uh, depends on graphics it will be vary what are the main reason for this 7 beep I already explained thank you thank you very much